There's nothing like a good video game scare. Some of the best creepy moments come uncovered through hidden easter eggs. These are the scares that will cause you to throw your controller, scream loudly, and keep you up all night. As you check out these intense moments, just remember, it's only a game. Before you get too scared, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Number 10. Half-Life 2 Reverse Zombie Noises By just looking at the character designs alone, the zombies featured in Half-Life 2 are creepy enough as it is. Add in some unintelligible garble and they can truly haunt the game. After playing Half-Life 2 for a while, players will begin to notice a similar speaking pattern between the zombie characters. It clearly sounds like a human talking and multiple players have discovered that it's backwards audio. Once you hear what the audio sounds are, then the game becomes even more frightening. When played backwards, you can hear a desperate man scream out, help, God, help, help me. God, help, help me. The man is clearly trapped in agony and looking for anyone to help him out. When the sound effects are mixed together in the game, it equates to dozens and dozens of characters screaming out those same lines. Knowing what the sound effects are truly saying adds a deeper meaning to the game. The monsters are not just mindless zombies. They're tortured souls who cannot control the creatures that are controlling them. If the audio was left in playing forward, then it could have made the game far too disturbing to play. Just knowing it will change the way you play the game. Number 9. The Haunted Xbox The original Xbox console was an innovative system that changed the industry. It offered direct competition to the Sony PlayStation and introduced a number of great franchises including the Halo and Call of Duty games. There were plenty of horror games released for the original Xbox back in 2001, but nothing was as scary as the game's home dashboard. At first glance, the dashboard features a few menus settings and an animated background. If you leave the menu alone for a while, that's when the scary stuff starts happening. Out of nowhere, a number of random audio files will begin playing through the console. It includes a scratchy voice, inaudible messages, and random beeps and tones. <laughs> If you left your console on through the night, you may have woken up to these terrible sounds. Fans quickly speculated about the sounds, spread rumors, and many people felt like their console was haunted. The sounds would come randomly, so it was hard to show them off to family or friends. Years later, Xbox developers revealed that all those scary sounds were actually transmission audio files from old NASA missions. Knowing this doesn't make them any less scary or horrifying, especially in the middle of the night. Number 8. Slenderman Haunts Runner 2 The next step in platform games is mixing music with the jumping and rhythm of the levels. This concept has been seen in large release games like Rayman Legends and indie games like Runner 2. The fast-paced action in Runner 2 can cause players to miss a lot of easter eggs, hidden moments, and funny parts. If you skip past the forest levels too quickly, then you may also miss out on the appearance of Slenderman. As you cruise through the level, jump over enemies, and clear past obstacles, you may get distracted by the presence of Slenderman in the background. This isn't the typical white Face Slenderman either. Along with his traditional haunting look, the evil character also sprouts tentacles from his back. Slenderman doesn't interact with the characters during the level, but he can certainly haunt you once you reach the end of it. Instead of launching yourself out of the final cannon, wait with your character there. After a few moments, the screen turns into static and Slenderman appears on it for a few moments, acting like he's fully hacked the game. The whole event becomes even scarier if you play it with the lights off and volume turned high. Number 7. The Mind Reading Psycho Mantis In both both Metal Gear Solid and its GameCube remake, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, one of the creepiest bosses that Snake will come across is Psycho Mantis. The character wears a gas mask after suffering from terrible burns during his youth. He also possesses the power to read minds, control things, and levitate in the air. To help make the character feel more authentic, the developer added some fun easter eggs that showcase the true Psycho Mantis powers. One of these features is the ability to turn on the rumble feature on the controller. While that is an easy thing to do, there are more advanced features in the game. During random points, Psycho Mantis makes it seem like the game is glitched and suddenly shuts down. The screen turns completely black except for a small green message at the top corner. In both the PlayStation and GameCube versions, Psycho Mantis has the ability to read from the memory cards. He can list off the names of games that you've played and make comments related to the amount of content that you have. It's a surreal and creepy moment that really breaks the fourth wall and helps Psycho Mantis become a true villain for gamers to fear. Number 6. Five Nights at Treasure Island Remastered While the survival horror genre has been around for decades, a whole new life was bred into it
followed with the release of Five Nights at Freddy's. The game turns animatronics into horrible monsters that attack a lonely security guard in the middle of the night. Seeing the success of the game, a number of independent developers have made their own spin-off versions and one of the scariest may be Five Nights at Treasure Island. The game replaces Freddy and his friends with trademark Disney characters like Mickey Mouse. The game itself features plenty of jump scares, but so does the title menu. While you're waiting to play, the evil Mickey Mouse stands there hovering. After a minute or so, Mickey disappears from the screen and it looks like he's collapsed. A few moments later, Mickey reappears, his evil face filling the screen and a loud screaming sound effect plays. The menu jump scare is just the start for the crazy adventure through the theme park. Obviously, Mickey returns, along with other characters ready to make all of your Disney dreams into pure nightmares. Just remember that even when the level is over, the scares still continue until you exit out of the game. Number 5. Jason Voorhees in Dead Island Jason Voorhees has had quite the history in horror cinema, but he also has been a huge part of the video game landscape. The NES game Friday the 13th has a cult following and is notorious for the extremely hard boss battle with Jason at the end. Jason hit the video game world again in the next generation Friday the 13th game that pays true homage to the horror icon. Along with these official versions, there have been many horror games that feature their own dedication to Jason Voorhees. Along with skins in Roblox and Minecraft, players of the zombie survival game Dead Dead Island can search and find their own tropical version of Jason. Still wearing the signature hockey mask, this version of Jason replaces the jumpsuit with a sleeveless white t-shirt, but still loves to kill with a machete. The zombie is incredibly hard to kill, and he can defeat players with just one hit. The small hut that zombie lives in also features a chainsaw that you can grab as a weapon. Do that, and it will send Jason on a rampage to kill you and retrieve his special item back again. It's fun to try and find Jason, but you may regret it when he hunts you down and torments you in this game. Number 4. Mortal Kombat 9 Screamers For the ninth entry in the Mortal Kombat series, game developers decided to add a little more than just constant one-on-one -on -one battles to the death. One of these extras was known as the Crypt and was a similar concept that was seen in other versions of the game. In this area, players could use their earnings to unlock concept art, extra moves, and decorations for the Crypt. While it's great to unlock all these extras, many players would avoid the area due to an easter egg known as the Crypt Monster. If a player spent too much time inside of the Crypt, an evil monster would flash onto the screen and be accompanied by a loud screaming noise. It's startling enough for anyone to drop their controller and there's no predicting when this animation would occur. The monster appears so suddenly that even if you've been in the crypt multiple times, you can still get freaked out by the terrifying jump scare. This easter egg was clearly inspired by online flash pranks like the scary maze game. Mortal Kombat makes it work. Just make sure to play the crypt on mute to avoid any loud and scary sounds. Number 3. Living Teddy Bears in Call of Duty One of the long traditions also found in Call of Duty games is the teddy bear. No matter if the game takes place in the past, a fictional future, or a zombie wasteland, the same old ratty teddy bear is there to make an appearance. These bears usually were placed on boxes that could be opened to retrieve weapons or other items. A majority of the time, the bears would sit there as plain as props, but that was not always the case. In Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, the innocent bears got a lot creepier when they were introduced with small animations. If you find a bear in a sitting up position, you could stare at it for a few moments and then watch it come to life. Life. The bear's head would turn to the side as if it saw something, quickly turn back, and then go back to its resting position. If you position yourself right, you can make it seem like the bear is turning directly toward you. Looking like a scene out of Toy Story, the whole thing is very unsettling. It's pretty crazy that in a whole world of zombies and monsters, one of the more frightening elements would be a small teddy bear. Number 2. Condemned Criminal Origins The world of shopping malls is nothing like it used to be. Department stores are closing, people are flocking to online shopping, and your favorite places from your childhood are boarded up or demolished for good. A representation of this lost time can be found in the horror survival game Condemned Criminal Origins. One of the key levels in the game takes place at an abandoned and run-down department store. Escalators are broken, floor decorations are scattered everywhere, and it looks like the aftermath of an insane Black Friday shopping sale. Out of all the things, one of the elements oddly left intact in the store are the mannequins. These fake bodies stand and pose for items that are not for sale anymore. Mannequins are scary enough in real life, but this game takes it to a whole new level. When approaching a set of male and female mannequins, look closely at the female. Her head will start to turn directly towards you and just stare. Yikes! You can shoot off her fake head if you please, but that won't stop the random whispers and sound effects that are automatically triggered when you walk past the creepy display. You'll never look at mannequins the same again. Number 1. 
Ghostface in Super Mario 3D Land. The Super Mario video game franchise is as friendly as they come. The games don't provide too many scares, and the ghostly Boo characters feel more comical than actually scary. The developers may not offer direct scares in the game, but they certainly know how to surprise players with small hidden details that can scare them for days. One of these Easter eggs can be found in the Nintendo 3DS title Super Mario 3D Land. Level 4-4 of the game features a haunted maze house. After traveling through all of the rooms and finally making it to the outside, players can avoid the final flag and seek out a huge scare instead. Take the character to the back right corner of the level. Once you're there, you need to hop up on a small ledge and stand there. After a few minutes, a ghostly image will appear on the opposite side of the fence. The mysterious ghost doesn't try to harm Mario, but it does look like the ghost face villain from the Scream franchise. Even more creepy than the ghostly appearance is the actions that players take to get it to appear. Standing in the corner without moving is the same thing that characters have done in the closing moments of multiple Blair Witch movies. Whoa, thanks for watching! Which moments did you think are the scariest? Have you experienced any of them yourself? Are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.